Hi, I'm Matt Nikki You Know, and welcome to episode two of the Thursday Colors vlog. My hair has been so fluffy today, and I just like. Uh, my sister also gave me these mugs. I have two of these now, and they're so nice and like golden. And when the sun hits them, it like reflects gold on everything that's in front of you. Yes, everything that reflects off of me is golden. I like it. I like this golden mug. It's very, this is very Thursday colors. This outfit is very Thursday colors. Very cozy, soft. Mm. Welcome to Thursday. But I did actually have like a reason for this episode. Like, So for this week, episode two of Thursday Colors vlog is what's the Harry Nielsen connection? Or Nielsen, Nielsen? Nelson or Nielsen? He said it a bunch of times. I think it was Niels Nielsen. Someone correct me, please. So Harry is a musician that I didn't know I loved. I saw this Harry Nelson documentary that someone on my friends list, I think it was Brian McNeil. Shout out to Brian uh, that he has a show on CFRU. And I've been on his show years and years ago when I was in a band called Dear Me. Uh, and I played on the radio and that was fun. The connection with Harry Nelson. So when I was a child, I watched You've Got Mail. That movie was such, like, I cut my hair to look like Meg Ryan from that movie, against the advice of many people, but I did it. My first single is Give Me To The Season. This is the last song on the album. And when the whole album is released, the album version of that song is going to be much longer than the one that you can listen to now. Anyways, that first single came about while well, I was noodling around on, on my guitar. Two chords, playing them back and forth in a particular way, and my brain was like, I've heard this before, where have I heard this before? And I realized the Christmas scene from You've Got Mail, it's a sad Christmas scene. And that was kind of my vibe at the moment, and I tried to learn it. And then there was like more complicated parts to that song and I was just like, mm, I don't really want to learn it. But I did want to want to sort of bring that feeling into my music. So I took those those two chords and the strumming pattern was very similar. And then I went and made a whole other song about it. But there's more than just that. I started looking into Harry Nelson generally and I was just like blown away by how many of his songs I already knew. Does anyone else remember Russian? <laughs> Does anyone else remember Russian Doll? How could you forget Russian Doll? The, the repeated song that they have, it's another Harry Nilsson song. And it's a really good song. Yeah, so that was like another Harry Nilsson song that I was like, heck yeah. But then last night I saw when Brian posted about the uh, Harry Nelson documentary. As I was watching this, I realized that there were so many parallels between Harry's life and my life. Did Harry Nelson like die and reincarnate in my body? I I don't think that I'm pretty sure he died after I was born. So I don't I don't think that I think that's a false conspiracy that I'm sowing the seeds for. But I did realize that. Our birthdays are one day apart and, you know, several decades. But he was born on June 15th. I was born on June 16th. I really, I relate a lot to Harry Nilsson. I feel like if we sat in a room together, we would, we would have a lot in common. He was very shy. He didn't really want to do live performances. Uh, I was also like painfully shy. When I was little, I don't think I really got up the nerve to even order my own food at a restaurant until I was like fully a teenager. So shy that when my dad tried to make me order my own food in the food court at the mall, I, I was like tearing up. I think I just, I wanted to disappear. I didn't want to exist anymore. And I, that was my reality for most of my childhood. 
I'm not really sure when exactly that started, but puberty did not help because my puberty was incredibly brutal. <laughs> my, my nose grew first. I might, it, I feel like it fits my face now, but like I have a pretty big nose. It has been a big frustration because it grew first. So my body wasn't, didn't fit proportionately with my nose. My nose was huge. <laughs> and, and I had like horrible, horrible acne. Like the, like every inch of my body, it felt like was just covered in acne. I didn't know how to deal with my curly hair. I would sweat constantly and like so much. I would be drenched in sweat before I got to school. Like <laughs> puberty hit me hard. <laughs> but yeah, um, my puberty was, was awful. Um, and I felt incredibly shy and I just wanted to disappear. I just wanted to curl up into a little ball and just like boop go into myself, become a black hole, just like cease to exist. That's what I wanted in my life. And so I would like cry if I was being pushed into any sort of position where people would look at me. But you know what? I started feeling really depressed around the time that Harry Nelson died. <laughs> or like, maybe a little bit after like a year or two after. What if like Harry Nilsson just like came into my body when I was like five? <laughs> I was just like, Whoop, I'm here now. If I am being haunted by the ghost of Harry Nilsson, what has happened to myself? Right, so he was painfully shy. I was painfully shy. Uh, absentee father, absentee father. Drinking problem. Now I feel like I'm, I have a much healthier relationship to alcohol. He was married young. I was married young. I have, I've only been married once though. Um, he had three wives uh, and his last wife was like, oof, like I would marry her. I would absolutely marry her. Oh my God. <sighs> no. Okay. Sorry, my camera died. Right, so um, yes, I think I left off at uh, Harry Nelson's daughter. You know how like you have what you actually look like and then you have this like idea of yourself that you think like is your idealized self, you know? Like if you were to just kind of like erase or like soften some of your flaws, just like that version, that's what she looks like. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like Harry Nelson and I have like a strange bond that I don't quite understand. And I, I need to like listen to his music more and like really dive into his, his discography. And I'm so curious to like, now that I know his story and like at what points he was working with certain people and then went off and, and started doing things for himself and really to his own vision. And I'm really curious to see what that sounds like when Harry Nelson is doing what he wants to do without anybody else's input. But I also suspect without anybody else's expertise. And there you have it. What is the Harry Nelson connection? So Harry Nelson, that's, you know, he's awesome. And I look forward to learning more about Harry Nelson and discovering whether or not he like inhabited my body at a young age. And maybe that's why I was depressed suddenly. Follow me on all the social medias, that Nikki you know. I'm that Nikki you know. If you didn't know me before, my name is Nikki. And uh, now that we've met, I am that Nikki you know. Share the video with your friends. Comment below if you want me to talk about anything else. And don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, follow me on all the things. I have a newsletter. I, f I didn't even mention that. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you want to learn more about what I do, I have a Bandcamp, Spotify, all the platforms that Nikki you know, uh, N-I-K-K-I. -K -K -I. Um, except on Twitter. On Twitter, my Twitter handle that Nikki you know is like too long. So I had to, I had to take off the W. Like, comment, subscribe.
share, listen to my music, buy it if you want. That would be super cool. I have an Indiegogo campaign for, to, if you want to pre-order the album. I'm trying to get it on vinyl. It will be on cassette. Vinyl is just like a little bit scary right now because everything is on vinyl and so it's really backed up and you know it might take like a year to get anything. <laughs> but I'm trying. But like I can I can assure you that cassette cassette will happen. So you can pre-order the through the Indiegogo campaign. So please pre-order the album. It's really awesome and I hope that you had fun. Okay, well, um, goodbye, everyone, and uh, see you next week.